Act 1002, Oklahoma passed a law earlier this year that prevents schools from enforcing a mask mandate. With COVID-19 numbers climbing, some lawmakers want it repealed. Five News reporter Bailey Devane has more about the Oklahoma law and how some schools are preparing for the new school year. Representative Mickey Dolan says with the increase in COVID cases, he's worried about student safety and schools having to switch to virtual learning only. He's one of the members of the House Democratic Caucus who are asking Governor Kevin Stitt to call a special session to repeal Senate Bill 658 to allow schools the option to require face masks. We hope to follow the lead of uh, Governor Hutchinson in Arkansas. Governor Stitt said last month he would not issue another state of emergency, that people should have the liberty to choose to wear a face mask. And if the hands are tied and, people, and kids are getting sick, kids are getting sick, um, there's one thing that Senate Bill 656 doesn't do, and that's prevent schools from shutting down. We spoke with the Muldrow School Superintendent Clifta Fugit. She says last year they never had to shut down in-person classes. She said they were able to keep the virus under control through strict social distancing, contact tracing, and using face masks. We stayed on top of things. We cleaned extensively every night. We wore masks. When we were supposed to wear masks, we watched the numbers and when the color code changed, we changed. Only a small amount of students are enrolled in virtual learning this year at Muldrow. Most are returning back to on-site learning. Fugit says staff are looking forward to having all the students back next week. And as state law changes, they will update their safety guidelines. Before they can learn, they have to feel secure. Our parents have to feel secure in the fact that we're doing everything we can to keep their kids safe. In Muldrow, covering news where you live, Bailey Devane, 5 News. All right, Bailey, thanks. The debate over mask mandate bans comes as Arkansas and Oklahoma are among the states trailing behind the national vaccination rate. Both have less than 41 percent of the entire population fully vaccinated. Nationwide, that number is approaching 50 percent, with 165 million Americans receiving all their shots.